What's up, what's up, guys? How are you doing? How are you, my people? How are you, my family? I missed you so, so much. Yeah, guys, I hope you're doing fine. Yeah, I'm also doing well here. Yeah, and I appreciate the Almighty God, Allah, you know, whichever God that you're worshipping, because we are good and healthy and happy. And I'm glad to be on camera once again. Guys, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. Like, Today it's not so sunny and it's not rainy, it's not so calm, it's not so windy. Like the weather is just mwah, just first and foremost. I want to appreciate the new viewers. In case you're seeing me for the first time, my name is Liz Naisawa from Kenya in East Africa. Nyabohansi village. Guys, I really appreciate you for always watching my videos. I want to welcome the new viewers, the new subscribers. Thank you for trusting me with your subscriptions. I don't take it for granted. Yeah, guys, I still want to appreciate those the returning viewers, those who watch my videos. Thank you so much. Yeah, I still want to appreciate you guys for always for the comments, for the likes, you know, for sharing my videos. Guys, you are doing an amazing job. You are really supporting me, guys, by sharing my videos, liking them and even comments guys i really appreciate guys have a warm welcome to my youtube channel once again and it's lunchtime guys and being that schools are now open and the kids go to school in the morning and come back at lunch you know our courier like not just in korean but most of the kenyan public schools kids go to school in the morning come back at lunchtime eat at home go back to school and come in the evening so guys it's at lunch time and we want to cook ugali for them like we already have cooked vegetables so i only want to cook for them ugali for lunch so that they can take and rush back to school as well thank you guys for watching come on let's cook the ugali And I have my busara here, the vaccinating and yeah, I've covered the sufuria so that it can heat very quickly. My fire there, there's the ugali, like we have the water, water for ugali boiling and guys today I want to use a different method. I don't know if you've seen this, yeah. Yeah, we have the water there and you can see the water is not that pure because it has some ugali inside. It's almost boiling, my people. It has some ugali inside because I want to recook the ugali, like the leftover in our culture. We can cook the leftovers yeah, so that we don't waste food, especially now that maize is very expensive. Ugali is very expensive in Kenya. We cannot dare waste any food, guys. So, my people, I have the ugali that was left yesterday night. That's what I've cut into pieces and dropped inside the water so it's boiling and i want to cook the ugali right away but i have i have to wait to boil first so that it can boil and become somehow like porridge yeah yeah the water has boiled so i don't know if you can see the ugali particles coming upwards so it's time to cook the ugali my people <laughs> yeah, you know, for gully, especially for maize, the fire has to be like much. Eh? Yeah, it has to be much for the maize to cook well, the corn flour to cook well. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
You have to mix the cooking flour nicely plus the garlic, you know, the leftover that has been cooked inside so that it's not visible. The ugali, like you cannot notice there is a ugali that has been mixed with fresh corn, corn flour. To be a to be a to skip up a car. So you know it's cook raining season and the firewood are not so dry. I still have my energy drink. <sighs> Guys, this one gives a lot of energy. You cannot even get tired to do house calls, cooking. Like you can, you just feel fresh all the time, energetic. This drink is just amazing. This drink is just something else. Hmm. Busara. Guys, if you come to the village and you don't take, you don't test this drink, Busara drink, I don't think you've visited the village, especially in Kenya, in Korean villages, with Korean culture. If you don't test that, you're not a pure villager. You're not a pure Korean. Yes, yeah, so guys, my curry is almost ready. is ready 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 so i have to take it Mm, you know, in our culture, we believe that when you cook ugali and it brings out this, uh, this, then the ugali has cooked so well. <laughs> and by the way, this brings appetite. Like, we believe that when you give a child uh, the corn that has just cooked, uh, the sufuria, like the sides of the sufuria, 
this guy is there, this one here, my family, my friends, my people, this one here. The child will have so much appetite to eat more food. My girlie is ready here and yeah, time for us to go and eat. Right. This is what we are going to use like to cut the ugali. So ugali is ready and here are the vegetables. Eh? We have the vegetables here. Laga, the boiled, the boiled uh, small fish. Eh? Yeah, with soup. Nice for the kids as well. So this one was, it's a uh, leftover from last night. So we just make it heat and ready to eat. Guys, the fire would have dried, I'm not dry, but somehow wet. So. My God, <laughs> I'm <laughs> don't worry my people i'm talking to you know in a village you cannot miss somebody at home so yeah on the background <laughs> the heat and our belly is ready too so it's time for us time for us to eat the belly so guys thank you for watching thank you for this is for look recording for look. yeah so guys this one we just uh, eat it that way it's already cooked it's already fried so we just eat it and with the ugali as well so guys welcome 
welcome let's eat our ugali thank you for watching my video thank you for the likes thank you for the comments thank you for the love positive vibes love love all the way thank you guys and bye let's meet in my next video Cut.